Well, back guys to another movie review, and this one is called Last Night in Soho, and this is a wee bit out of date. I watched this like a month ago, and I'm only getting around to review it now, because fog has kind of died in recent months. But anyway, we're here, and uh, yes, my throat's kind of fucked, but my voice is actually back to normal. I'd say it's about a solid 99% right now. So we're going to dive into this movie review, and this movie was absolute dog shit. Basically, we follow this girl who wants to be a fashion designer. She goes to the big city, London. Um... Yeah, and we basically spent like the first half of this movie doing fuck all, like it is literal dog shit. Um, then she ends up moving out of her college accommodation into this house with this old woman um, who seems weird, but she says, oh, the, f the house will smell in the summer like dead shit, which is going to in turn lead to something at the end of this movie. Then basically she goes to sleep, but she keeps on having visions of this person getting murdered. Um, Sandy, she sees visions of her, Matt Smith's character. Um, there's this old guy in the present time who we believe is that him, Jack, but it turns out he's just a police officer guy. That was one of the twists, and it turns out the old woman, Miss Collins, is actually the killer. She's been killing all the men that she was an escort for, and yeah, ho oh, ho, fuck. I mean, there was a few twists that were alright, but see the amount of effort it took to get to this, but I, I near fell, I near fell a fucking sleep in this movie. It was fucking pish. The banter, I mean, it's supposed to be an 18, right? But you barely got any blood until, like, the fucking end of it. Like, an 18, like, see where an 18, you're promised some good shit, and we got no shit. Well, no, we know we got plenty of shit, we just didn't get any good shit. That's the bottom line. You know? But, what can you do? I didn't expect much for this movie. Didn't get much for this movie. I mean, it basically ends with that woman dying. She dies in the flame. And also, an old woman's able to take on a, 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 a woman who's, like, 50 years younger on it, and some guy who should be in his prime. So fucking stupid. So fucking stupid. Un unbelievable as well. Like, it, you know what I mean? It's it's really stupid, but she ends up dying. I'm just looking at that cat woman, Miss Colt, the actor. What an ugly bastard. Diana Rigg, like, you're one ugly bastard, man. There's no two eyes about it. Um, But yeah, the movie sucked, guys. Like, the twist at the end that it was her, but you could even tell, like, the fact she's fucking drugging her tea... And then also, like, the police officer guy turned out that he was the old guy. I mean, it was almost a far too fucking obvious that he was the Matt Smith character, Jack. You know? So when that got revealed, it wasn't exactly, oh, fuck, you know, I kind of seen that coming. But, yeah, guys, the movie wasn't that good. But you know what? Some of the twists were alright, so for that reason, I'll give it a 1 out of 10. But if you plan on watching this movie, it's literally two hours of your life that you will not get back. And Big Stevie Cool suggests that you don't do that. So yeah guys, until next time, leave your thoughts down below and peace.